You guys both know this is a big weekend here at Eyewitness News as we celebrate our golden anniversary. 50 years ago tomorrow, November 17, 1968, and an entirely new style of news broadcasting to shape Eyewitness News. It made you, the viewer, the centerpiece of our storytelling. So right now we want to take a trip down memory lane to take a look at the last five decades of Eyewitness News through the eyes and the words of those who deliver the news into your home. This is Eyewitness News with Roger Grimsby, Bill Butel, plus Storm Field and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening, I'm Roger Grimsby. Here now the news. It was in the early 1970s that Roger and I, in a cast of something less than thousands, formed Eyewitness News. Eyewitness News you know, captured the imagination of the biggest city in the world. Al Primo has been called the father of Eyewitness News. He had the ideas that built Eyewitness News in the early days. Carol Ivan is in Greenpoint in Brooklyn right now. We weren't going to just preach the news to people. We wanted to go out and talk to the people because, you know, people can tell their stories better than we can write them. With America's newest singing sensation. <laughs> we really were a different way of presenting things because traditionally it had been the signal coming out at the viewer. Now we sort of had a village with all these characters so the viewer could go into the village. When Chris Shambliss hit that home run, this is the guy who got the ball. All right, how do you feel having that ball? Oh, very good, man, very good. We are the people we're reporting to. A lone gunman waited for his hero outside the Dakota apartments. They are the young, they are the middle-aged. They are the people who didn't even know him, but who knew him well. We were brown, white, Latino, black. I mean, we were everything. Everything that New York is. Good evening. Here's what's happening. As far as the people up here in Hall of are concerned... Uh... That's going to keep a lot of those firemen awake all night long. Rock Hudson, almost in spite of the Hollywood hype, was a very good actor. We are two hours short of the time that Gloria is supposed to come ashore. This stadium will not have Jets fans to worry about anymore. If he can jump tonight, the Knicks will win. The prediction, the Knicks in six. It was a time of amazing spirit and high energy. We have to change the way we care for our mentally retarded. We ask for change, we demand change. Willowbrook was one of those stories that you never expect. This is what it looked like. This is what it sounded like. But how, how can, can I, I tell, tell you about, about the way it smelled. it smelled? It smelled of filth. It smelled of disease. And it smelled of death. I'll, I'll never forget it. Never. The rising tide, snow and rain will have an effect on the morning commute. The Eyewitness News is a part of New York like no other station. Period. When you see Roz Abrams smile, her warm and friendly style. Step right up and say, I was so incredibly shy, insecure. The thing that gave me more confidence was when Oprah Winfrey came and she was brown like me and she was thick like me and she was moving the world. A lot of people hoping for a white Christmas. Sam Chappie will be next with the Accurate the Forecast. I got to Eyewitness News at about in 1988. So I was a kid. I was in my 20s. And I had never really been to New York before. We hope you have some good weather news for your first day on the job. New York accepted me, adopted me, made me feel welcome. It was not long after I started on TV that I would walk down the street and bus drivers in New York would yell out the window, Hey, Sam, this is really something else rivaling a midwinter storm. There's a lot of weight on your shoulders if you're going to uphold the integrity of Eyewitness News. 32 years I've worked with some of the greats. Bill Butel, Doug Johnson, John Johnson. Some of those names have changed now. It's Bill Ritter and Diana Williams and Josh Einiger. What remains the same is storytelling, the ability to talk to people in this great city and tell their stories. In the Bronx, Jim Dolan, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. I've had the distinct honor and the pleasure of being able to talk to you over 34 years of the 50 years of of Eyewitness News. It has been the front row seat to all of the major news stories. Many of us came to know her from that recognizable pose as the ruler of a hotel empire. Now we all know her as a tax cheat. I'll never forget how I felt the first time I heard Bill Butel say, and now we go live to Eyewitness News reporter N.J. Burkett. N.J. Burkett is live now in Hamden. N.J.? When you're on Eyewitness News, you're playing for the New York Yankees. The New York Yankees of local news, the, the hometown team. It's more than just a place to work. You have the sort of shadow of 
all these giants, these big personalities who worked here. We right now have a picture of Bill Butel in our atrium looking down on us. You know, I, I, I find myself often looking up at that picture if I am in a dilemma of what to do or how to handle something, and I'd say, you know, what would Bill do? But what we do on the two each day, if we are giving ourselves to it, we are doing something of great value. Bill was just so wise and so calm and so reassuring in mm -hmm. so many ways and how he did everything. And I said, give me some advice. And he said, be yourself and have fun. And the more I thought about it, that's what we do. We are ourselves and we have fun every day. Eyewitness News is a tradition, a great tradition. Well, for your news is good news, I'm Roger Grimm. I hope you enjoyed that as much as we did because oh, it just—it's it. so amazing looking back at all of the great people who have worked at this station. So much rich history. There really is. The Eyewitness News style, by the way, has been emulated by dozens of stations all across the country. So when Al Primo started it, he was doing something right, and it's been extremely successful. And it was wise. Yeah. It was and very you wise. can see more archive clips and coverage from throughout the last five decades on a special section of our website, abc7ny.com slash eyewitnessnews50.